Hello everyone, welcome to Skarya.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today the topic of our presentation is the conjunctival cysts and the tumors that we're going to discuss on today. Now there are the multiple conditions and the variants of the cystic lesions that can arise in the conjunctiva of the individual as well as we can have a variant of the tumorous conditions that can even arise in the conjunctiva of the individual and we'd be briefly going through the characteristics, the clinical features and the management guidelines for the patients who present in the outpatient departments with these cystic lesions or these tumorous kind of conditions. First of all, we'd be discussing the cystic lesions of the conjunctiva. So these cysts can be uh, further classified into the pigmentary kind of the cystic lesions. And on the other hand, we have the non-pigmented cystic lesions. They can arise either congenitally or they can be the acquired conditions of the conjunctiva. On one hand, we can be dealing with the non-pigmented kind of tumors. So the list of tumors uh, goes into the melanotic kind of tumors, into the dermoidal cysts, which are in a lot of cases, they are congenital in their origin, as well as we can have the acquired conditions of the non-pigmented tumors. We have the pigmented tumors, particularly most notoriously, we can be dealing with the uh, melanocytes. So one should know how to deal with these cases. And what are the particular, peculiar clinical features for these cases of the pigmented tumors? The management guidelines and the treatment modalities available out there to treat these patients of pigmented tumors would be discussed here quite briefly. Moving on, we'll be discussing the congenital and the benign tumors. So the major varieties of the tumors consist of the um, age of origin. It can be a congenital condition, it can be an acquired condition, and furthermore, it can be either a benign, and on the other hand, it can be a malignant condition. The clinical features which help in the distinguishing a benign condition from a malignant condition would be discussed over here. And we'd be briefly going through the clinical features as well as the risk factors for the development of such benign tumors. Then we have a lot of precancerous or pre-malignant tumors. These tumors can furthermore differentiate into a variety of malignancies. So one should know how to uh, differentially diagnose these precancerous or pre-malignant tumors because on the final hand, we have the malignant tumors, which can be quite notorious and they have their own complications. Uh, the final treatment guidelines for these malignant kind of tumors are obviously uh, the enucleations that are sometimes coupled up along with the radiotherapies as well as the topical chemotherapies that are performed. Another variant that we'd be discussing over here is the ocular surface squamous neoplasias. And it can again be one of the uh, malignant conditions that arise in the conjunctiva. We'd be briefly defining the conditions uh, which are known as the nevi and the congenital moles that arise in the conjunctival region. The precancerous melanosis, along with its signs and symptoms, the treatment modalities, would be discussed over here. We'd be defining the condition which is known as malignant melanoma. The particular features, the treatment guidelines, all of this would be discussed over here in this lecture. So we have a range of ophthalmopathies that are being discussed on our website. Uh, so do watch these lectures. Thanks for watching skaya.com and get access to watch the complete lecture.